Uh, what's up everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC, and today we're going to talk about one of the most difficult things in the trade, how to get customers for your company. It's about to get crazy. It's about to go down. It's about to go down. Alright, so this is going to be good. Alright, so I don't want to have a long vlog here. But uh, maybe I need to break this up and do like a few more. You guys let me know if you want to hear more stuff on this, all right? But I don't want to go too long. Uh, before I get started on this very important vlog, I want to invite you to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you love this video, and put your comments down below. I'm going to give you my opinion, and I'm going to speak from my experience and how I actually got work from my company consistently over years and years and years and then uh i'd love to hear your comments down below how you got and what advice do you have for young people who want to get into the trade i think i'm going to do a disclaimer here this is the hardest trade in the history of the world bar none crazy if you don't have the heart for it like if you're not ready and and like you know, you got other avenues. Think very seriously before you go and put your money down to go buy a machine and start a business, all right? Because this business, if you don't do it right, if you take it lightly and you're not willing to put in the hours, meaning like 24 seven to make it happen, then uh, you could just lose everything. But at the same time, I'll say that if you're willing to put the work in, if you're willing to hone your skills, willing to like step in that pocket and actually do what's necessary for your customers, you can be incredibly successful. There's so much money in this trade and there's so many amazing companies that are trying to do huge things and they need great vendors. And believe it or not, they're willing to pay for those vendors. But to get that money, you need to be on an elite level, all right? So that's one of the reasons that I made a part one, part two. So in part one, vlog number 64, we talked about the things that need to be in place, the things that you need to have before I teach you how to get work, right? The foundation, the confidence, the skill level, the quality manual, the inspection procedures, the documentation, the confidence, all of it. Your foundation needs to be built on a rock, right? You need to have solid roots down to make sure that you can actually service those customers, that you can actually back up your mouth and that you can actually deliver parts on time under budget consistently all right so these are parts that we machine and there's a million other parts that i can't show you that we do for big rocket companies and we have itar restrictions and ndas and all these different things right but there's a huge amount of parts that we do and as an owner of a company i had to go out and get that work all right it wasn't an easy thing if you are serious about this trade and serious about going after it and learning it, go watch my vlogs 19, 20, and 21. There's so much gold in that where I actually talk about building my company from nothing, losing everything only to attain everything, find my vision and find my passion. But I go into depth about this trade. So vlog 19, 20, and 21, make sure you check it out, all right? So now let me tell you this quick story, all right? So back in 2007, I saw Inc. Magazine, I saw one of our favorite entrepreneurs on the cover of that magazine, and there was a vision stated about going to Mars and doing all these amazing things, and as a business owner and somebody who'd been through crazy stuff, I was like, you know what? Like, I wanna do work for that person, right? I want to do work for this person. And I had experience because I was doing so much titanium in the subsea industry. I had a crazy contract, right? That I talked about in those earlier vlogs. I had this crazy contract where I was making all of these titanium parts. I had big horizontals on the floor. And as I saw these different rocket companies coming up, I was like, who's qualified to actually make those titanium parts? We are because we machine titanium all day long, right? But 
I wasn't AS9100, I wasn't even ISO, and I was like, you know, how do I get in? But I was determined to get into that company. So I actually wrote a letter to this certain entrepreneur, and I basically told them about my company. I put pictures of the titanium parts and basically put my vision down in paper, put it into an envelope, had my wife kiss it, we prayed over it, and I sent it and didn't hear anything. A week later, I reprinted it, redated it, put everything in, prayed over it, sent it, didn't hear anything. This is where determination comes in, right? I could truly see the vision of the company and I could see the longevity. And as a business owner, I believed in that vision and I understood that I needed to attach myself to it. And as we know, nothing in this world that is great comes easy. So literally on a weekly basis, I started sending out those letters, sending out those letters. I didn't get any responses. I called to the company. I made friends with the ladies in the office. I sent them chocolates. I told them my story. Remember I was talking like you gotta be a good storyteller, right? I told them the story, right? I told them the vision. I told them about what we were doing to actually increase productivity and manufacturing. And anybody that would listen to me, I would call and tell them that story and I kept coming back and I even asked advice like how should I go about doing this like how can I get work from your company do you have any advice for me because I'm incredibly determined I will wake up at 2 in the morning I will come down and bring parts to you you will not find somebody more dedicated than myself and my team and guess what people loved it. The ladies in the office actually started giving me certain emails, you know, and I started working and maneuvering things. Instead of the letters, I started putting it in email form and nothing would come and nothing would come. And then one day, my wife and I walked into my office and I just saw the name of the company, boom. And I was like, I opened it up and it was print after print after print after print. They literally got tired of me just sending stuff. And when the right opportunity happened and everybody else was busy, they were like, well, give that person a shot. And I actually got an opportunity and quoted the jobs out. They were like, oh, his prices are crazy cheap. Like he must not know what he's doing. And then we machined the parts perfectly and sent them in and got another opportunity and another opportunity, right? And guess what? One of the top engineers from that company went to one of the other rocket companies and then called me up because they were having troubles with vendors. And then I ended up doing work for that company. And then another engineer went to a different company. I started working for that company. And you see how the web goes, right? But that's what I want to say is like the determination. So in this day and age, like, you know, it's important to knock on doors and go and sell yourself and make sure that everybody in your community actually knows who you are. But it's also a little easier than it was years back because today we have social media, right? We have LinkedIn. So here is my advice. Drive around all the business complexes in your area. Google all the technology companies and Google everybody who's making anything within like a hundred mile, you know, to 200 mile radius of your company. You know, don't be so quick to go across country to other states. Start off sticking to your area, all right? And then put the time in at night. Like just put the time in to learn about these companies. Think to yourself as a business owner, like who has longevity? Who has a vision? Who is on the cusp of a technology or a leader in a technology that you believe in? If it's something that's prehistoric, they might not stay around, but all of a sudden, like electric vehicles and autonomous cars and rockets and space flight and all these different things. Now, these are new things and you're gonna have a lot of companies that fail, but when you start looking at big entrepreneurs and, and you start looking at people who are funding it correctly and they have the right vision in place, well, that's something that will probably take off, right? So you figure out who's in your area that's actually going to make moves, that's gonna have longevity, that's gonna have growth. And then strategize on how you can sell yourself to that company. 
all right? When I was starting my company, I was like knocking on doors, I was driving around, knocking, 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 introducing myself, and you still need to do that. But it's a little bit easier because you can actually now, you can figure out who the company is, what the technology is, you can educate yourself on it, and then you can literally go on LinkedIn, look up the company's name, purchasing, buyer, and then you'll see the buyers of mechanical and machine components for that company stack up. All of a sudden, you can actually friend that person, not just come boom, 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 but you can friend that person and you can start putting out your information, your pictures, your vision for your company and start putting this thing together and strategize and be extremely strategic in how you speak and how you share your vision for your company, show your quality, show what you can of your shop and basically start putting out your own vision for your company, right? And then you can circle back and actually contact that person by email, through social, or by simply calling and making an appointment to talk to that person. And then you can go in incredibly prepared because you understand their vision and you understand how you can actually help them solve their company's problems, all right? So in today's day and age, it's not hard to actually get contacts. What's hard is having confidence. What's hard is actually selling your vision. What's hard is actually building your company to a level where you can actually come in and actually get that work. One thing that I'll say is that, you know, like life is levels, right? We go from babyhood to teenage years to adulthood, and we're still not adults until way later. And then we think that we're adults, but maturity doesn't happen for almost decades later, right? Because of all the experience that we have in it. It's the same thing with this trade. This trade is about levels and you as a business owner or a leader in a company, you're going to go through different levels. And on each level, you have potential customers. All right, so I wanna make sure that you guys understand that. By the time I went for a rocket company, I had already done sub C. Sub C qualified me for aerospace. And by the time I went for sub C, I had already done a bunch of other industries that actually qualified me for sub C. So at the beginning, if I would have just jumped up to aerospace, I would have never been able to take care of my customer. I wouldn't have had the experience and the consistency to deliver those types of parts on that high end, right? And it would have crippled me, it would have crushed me. So it's very important to understand what your level is, what your expertise is, make sure you have a solid foundation. If you did not watch the vlog number 64 that we put out today, which discusses the foundation that you need to have, make sure you go and watch it because we discuss talent, paperwork, documentation, quality, all of it. Because that foundation gives you the confidence to actually sell your vision and your expertise to a potential customer. So I'm gonna to try to keep this video semi-short, so I wanna end it, all right? But please put your comments and your advice down below. And if you want me to do another video like this and expand even more, let me know and I'll do it because it's extremely important. I will leave you with this. One of the most important things that you need in actually attaining work is confidence. People can say like, oh, you know the shirts that I sell, CNC experts. Oh, he's cocky, he's this. No, I'm extremely humble, but I believe in myself. I believe in what I'm searching for. I'm not about mediocrity. I'm about competing. I'm about taking parts to a whole nother level. I'm about a vision that is bigger than myself. I'm about a company that actually supports my team members, my family, right? And I'm willing to fight for that. And I'm willing to fight for them. And because I'm willing to fight for them and I understand that entire platform, I push and I push and I push. I push excellence, I push consistency, I push quality. And because I understand this is my nature and the way I run my business, I have an extreme amount of confidence, right? 
So when I speak to somebody, I have in the bank, I understand how we machine our parts, I understand how we actually fixture things and how we actually outcompete other shops, right? I understand the longevity I have in the career, the complexity of work that we've done, the problems that we have solved, my team members, how we all get along perfectly, how we all align, how we all come with a common goal. I understand all of that. And because I understand, and it is true, I have confidence to speak it. And that confidence comes out when I shake their hand, when I look at them in the eye and I speak and I let them know, like, if you give me an opportunity, I will be your best vendor. I will do absolutely what it takes. I will take care of you. I will serve you. And I will make sure that your company is successful. And when I speak it, they believe it. Okay. You can't fake confidence. You can't fake it. So again, going back to vlog number 64, make sure you create your foundation and make sure it's solid so you can sell it. Mm, all right. Do you want to hear more? You want me to do another vlog on this? Let me know. You got advice for people starting their own companies or who are old school that need to get new school to actually put food on their tables and actually keep their companies running? You got advice? Put it down below. All right? CNC machining, manufacturing, boom, worldwide. Oh, talk to you guys later. See you on the next vlog. I am out.